Hello my beautiful Aries and welcome to your December mid-month love tarot reading with me Miss Machiste. Aries this is going to be a love reading for the second half of December. Please keep in mind that time is fluid. Everyone has their own divine timing and their own divine order from spirit. Aries, please keep in mind to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign because not all messages will resonate with every Aries out there. So Aries, if you are new here, welcome. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. I would love to have you as a part of this beautiful channel. And also Aries, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Thank you for being here. You are so, so very much appreciated. We are going to get into it. We have the Zodiac theme cards here. We are going to get three Zodiac signs for my Aries that you may be dealing with this second half of December. Keep in mind, Aries, these Zodiac theme cards are just for extra clarity oh, and extra insight for whoever needs it. This is not going to resonate with everybody, but I know somebody has to see this. So, Spirit for my Aries for the second half of December, can I please have three Zodiac signs that you are highlighting for my Aries? Aries, this could be in their Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign, or this could be in your Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign, making this reading even more specific to you. So, let's see what we have for Aries. So, Aries, we have Taurus. Could be dealing with a Taurus. Somebody with strong Taurus in their chart. You may have Taurus in your chart. And we have Virgo. Could be dealing with a Virgo or somebody with strong Virgo in their chart. You may have Virgo in your chart. <clears throat> and we have Pisces. So Aries could be dealing with a Pisces. You may have Pisces in your chart somewhere. They may have Pisces in their chart somewhere. So Aries, we have Taurus, Virgo, and Pisces. Please keep in mind that this is just for extra insight and extra clarity. Taurus and Virgo did come out as two of the three Earth signs. So definitely would not be surprised if some of you are also probably dealing with a Capricorn. So we have Pisces, Virgo, and Taurus. Please take the messages that resonate to you and leave the rest. So let's get into the spread. For my beautiful Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Aries, this is going to be the you versus them spread. Please keep in mind that for some of you, the reading may resonate backwards, reversed, flipped. You may end up on their side. They may end up on your side. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't and assign the roles as you wish. And also for my Aries cross watchers, same message for you. The reading may resonate backwards. So, Aries, let's get into it. Spirit, I need Aries energy. I need the mutual energy. And I need their person's energy. Spirit for Aries. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. For my beautiful Aries. Spirit for Aries. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. I need Aries energy. The mutual energy and their person's energy. So, let's see what we got going on, Aries. For the second half of December, I am an Aries rising. Much love for my Aries out there. If you're an Aries rising or whatever your placement is, comment below. I would love to know. So, Aries, your energy is coming through as the Six of Swords, the Nine of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. All right, Aries. And the mutual energy is the Two of Cups. Oh, I love when the Two of Cups comes in the mutual energy, Aries. We also have the Emperor. There you are. And we have the Queen of Wands. All right. In this person's energy, they have the King of Cups, <clears throat> the Ace of Wands, and the Tower. All right, Aries. It looks like an extremely powerful and positive Second half of December in your love life, Aries. You do have wish fulfillment coming your way. I feel like you and your person or whoever this is, you are moving into a lot more peaceful, calm scenarios with them. Not a lot of conflict, not too much 
chaos. There may have been chaos before, hence why moving forward away from that. And moving right to wish fulfillment, Aries, nine of cups, emotional contentment, emotional satisfaction for my Aries. So you do have a wish fulfillment coming true here. Make a wish, Aries, whatever you want in your love life. I do feel like you are dealing with a very strong soulmate connection here, Aries. Ooh, this one just went out. And right when I said that about the strong soulmate connection. All right, Aries, so let me do that. Yeah. So, Aries, you also have the Ace of Cups. So you are getting emotional wish fulfillment from an emotional offer. So you do have an offer coming your way. This beautiful Ace of Cups could be from a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But it does look like you and your person are opening up a lot more emotionally to each other this second half of December, Aries. This could be a new person or this could be you and your person just making the changes to restart this connection on a more positive foot so i really like that i feel like whoever you're connecting with here definitely could be a cancer scorpio pisces or they have that in their chart because they are coming through as a king of cups here showing that they do have emotions for you and they have very mature emotions for you as well aries so i do feel like this person is very ready to see what will come from this connection Sometimes the King of Cups could be emotionally distant as well. So this person may be a little bit emotionally distant, but they do have the emotions for you. And we do have the Ace of Wands as well on their end. So I do feel like the attraction between the two of you is there. I feel like you're attracted to them. They're very attracted to you. You two want each other and you don't want neither of you to go anywhere else. You want them. They want you. And I really do feel like with the Two of Cups and the Mutual Energy, definitely a soulmate connection. Definitely you two are both interested in compromising and coming together in a beautiful, healthy way. So I love this energy coming through for you Aries so it looks really positive and almost for some of you shockingly positive that may be uh, they do have the tower on their end we are going to clarify so the tower is coming through on their end so Aries I do feel like they are going to offer you something and I feel like they're going to be pleasantly surprised with the way that you react to their offer so I do feel like this is an offer that you were waiting for or that you are just extremely happy to be receiving and this person is really interested Aries you both have the Emperor and the mutual energy which is showing that you both want to be in control of the connection here and you both um, want to I feel like you both want to have the upper hand sometimes I feel like you want to control the connection they want to control the connection I feel like you're coming to a more compromising way to control for you both. Queen of Wands and the Mutual Energy, you're ready to go for what you want. They're ready to go for what they want, and it's you, Aries. So, very strongly could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You have the Six of Swords here. Could be an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. The Tower with Scorpio and Capricorn. Really could be any sign out here, but very strong soulmate connection. And it really is showing that you two are meeting each other and coming together in this beautiful way. Or this connection is finally progressing to more passion, more emotion, more wish fulfillment on both of your ends. And it looks really nice. So this could be anybody. This could be your current connection, a past person wanting to heal with you and restart with you. Or this could just be... A newer connection that you've been in that's finally getting off the ground and finally moving at a better pace than it was doing before so some of you maybe have been in a connection that's been stagnant and delayed but it looks like the waiting is over no more waiting it's here the wish fulfillment is here the waiting is over you do not have to wait any longer for somebody to come your way because somebody is coming or somebody has already been coming your way so, beautiful energy. Why is the Eight of Cups, I mean, I'm sorry, why is the Nine of Cups here with the Emperor and the Ace of Wands? We're going to clarify this row first. If you're new here, I read up and down and across. Sometimes I read sporadically all over the place. It's just the way the spirits give me the messages. So, 
Why is the Nine of Cups here with the Emperor and the Ace of Wands? Could be dealing with a fellow Aries with that Emperor. Or just somebody, you know, Aries, you guys are ruled by Mars. So sometimes Aries do have the more dominant energy, whether you're male or female. So I do feel like you have met your match here, Aries. That is also a very dominant energy. So let's see. Clarifying the eight, I mean, why do I keep saying the eight of cups? The nine of cups is the queen of cups. Queen, king of cups. There it is. I told you, divine couple, amazing, a beautiful energy of soulmates. The emperor clarified by the five of swords. Yeah, you both can't be in control all the time. Somebody has to have more control at one moment. You know, like it's always, I feel like there's a power play between the two of you sometimes that neither of you win. So that definitely needs to be subsided. Ace of Wands, Ten of Cups. Oh, Aries, they love you. They find so much happiness with you with this Ten of Cups. This is somebody that looks at you as being their one, the one they can, they, that they can have full happiness with. And look at how beautiful this row has the Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups. And now we have the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups showing up on both of your ends. So this is your soulmate. This is somebody who is a very strong soulmate energy of yours. And I feel like since you guys are coming through as the queen and the king of cups, Aries, things are, get, are about to get a lot more emotional. Things are about to get a lot more lovey and a lot more happy. That's what it looks like to me. With the emperor with the five of swords here, you both can't be in control all the time. And it leaves you both in a defeated energy sometimes where, you know, you want one thing to go your way. They want the other thing to go your way. So I feel like it's a lot more of a compromising second half of December of what can we do to continue this relationship and what can we do to continue to make it grow by not feeling like the other person has more power over the other. So very interesting here, Aries. So definitely could be that Cancer Scorpio Pisces there. Spirit, why is the Ace of Cups here with the Queen of Wands in the Tower for Aries? The mutual energy and their person. I feel like Aries, this person is like all of a sudden realizing you're it for them. They're all of a sudden realizing this is where they want to be and this is who they want to put their effort into. Spirit, why is the Ace of Cups here with the Queen of Wands and the Tower for my beautiful Aries? Aries, whoever this is, I'm not really feeling a storyline. I'm just feeling one big general message, so take what resonates for you. But this could be anyone. This really could be anyone. So, Ace of Cups, Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands, Four of Wands, the Tower, the Six of Pentacles. All right, Aries. I feel like... Hmm. You know, Aries, I feel like... You are really coming to some sort of mental clarity of how to deal with your emotions. With the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Cups, I feel like now you are not letting yourself drown in emotions and think a lot of negative thoughts. You're finally coming to some sort of mental clarity and feeling more open to give your love. So a lot of you Aries in the past, you were very closed off towards giving your emotions because you did not want to feel the mental trauma of emotionally expressing yourself. And now I feel like you're cutting through your mental body. You're cutting through the mindset that no longer serves you. And you're ready to open up to this person. We do have the tower with the six of pentacles here on this person's end. So it looks like they are shocked at the fact of how well this is going, honestly. Or they're shocked at how well you two are able to find balance. How shocked they are shocked that you two are actually able to reciprocate each other's energies. 
Queen of Wands, Four of Wands, definitely, possibly a relationship on the table. You both want to go for this relationship. You both are wanting to nurture this connection and see if you two can go towards the path, the path to marriage. If you two are already not thinking about that. So I do feel like for a lot of you Aries, you and this person are both feeling very passionate towards each other for the second half of December and very ready to head towards a more happy and joyful relationship. Because I do feel like for a lot of you Aries in the past, either this connection was chaotic and conflicted or you were in a lot of chaotic and conflicted connections in the past. So Spirit, please clarify this last row for Aries, the mutual energy, and their person's energy. Aries could be dealing with Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Really could be anybody. You have a lot of signs out here. Spirit for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Okay, Aries, you have here the Four of Wands. Beautiful. Definitely working towards a stable connection and a happy relationship. Mutual energy, the Six of Wands. Yes, giving each other attention, giving each other appreciation and acknowledgement. Oh, Aries, this is beautiful. And they have the King of Cups. Yes, Aries, I'm telling you, this person is like automatically shocked by how they feel towards you. They feel very strongly for you, like, all of a sudden. So, it's probably because of this beautiful, positive shift you two are taking. Or, I do feel like this person was very shocked at the fact that they met somebody like you. They met somebody that seems like their counterpart. That seems like somebody that they can be with, that they can marry. I feel like they're very shocked by having this connection in their life and you're the four of wands here twice so four four is coming through for you so definitely pay attention to the fours you also have two sixes six of wands six of swords there i'm going to clarify this last row one more time for you aries spirit for aries sun moon rising venus signs Okay. Seven of Cups. Magician. And the Ten of Cups again. Aries, this person loves you. And it's like they're shocked by how much they love you. Aries, I feel like, like I said... You're trying to get through your mental body. You're trying to get through the negative thoughts so you believe in love. So you believe in giving your heart away and you believe in a happy relationship. But some of you Aries, your head is still probably in the clouds a bit, a little bit confused on if this is the right thing to do, if this is the right person for you. And they, they are, and I feel like they're going to show it. They're going to prove it. Wow, Aries, the Ten of Cups and the King of Cups on this person's side. They love you and they see a very forever with you, Aries. Magician in the mutual energy, you both have manifested a happy relationship between the two of you or you both have been manifesting somebody that you can have happiness with. Wow, I love it for my beautiful Aries. Aries, get out of your confusion. Get out of your head. I know it's very difficult and I do feel as though it is being, it's, it is, has been being very hard for a lot of you Aries, but you can do it. You have the power of this Queen of Swords to cut through the illusion and cut through the confusion. That kind of rhymed. Okay, so let's get your Mystic Moons for my Aries. King of Cups, Ten of Cups on their side twice. Aries. They got a lot of love for you, but with that King of Cups coming through twice, I'm telling you, some of you Aries, you may be like, yeah, I think they have a lot of love for me, but I don't know. Sometimes they act like they don't. The King of Cups, they are very stable with their emotions, and they do feel like the King of Cups doesn't feel like they have to show them all the time. So that could be for some of you Aries, but... The energy doesn't lie. They love you, Aries. 
And this definitely could be somebody that you can marry. So, Aries, here we go. Let's get your Mystic Moons Oracle. I have a red deck, which y'all know. And I also have a blue deck, which we will get signs from Spirit for the Love Oracle. Ooh. Okay. So, let's get three cards for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. For my beautiful Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Wow, this person is, like, shocked by how much they love you. Like, why are you shocked? It's Aries. Of course you're going to love them. Well, here we go. Let's see, Aries. We have Unawakened. We have Muse. And we have Crossroads. I'm going to get more. Underneath Unawakened, we have Metamorphosis. Underneath Muse, we have Forgiveness. And underneath Crossroads, we have Inner Child. All right, Aries, so this is you. At a Crossroads, it's like you want to have hope, but you don't want to get your hopes up too much. Right? This is your moment, Aries. Things are shifting for you, and your inner child is at a crossroads on if deep, deep down inside you want to have hope and you want to believe in this, or do you feel like you're going to let your past fears and past traumas get to you? I do feel like unawakened and metamorphosis could be you and the other person. I am feeling more that it could be them because they all of a sudden have feelings for you, or they all of a sudden know that they are in love with you unawakened metamorphosis so whoever was the more unawakened energy in this relationship is now going through some sort of rebirth some sort of transformation and they are going through a phoenix rising type of energy where they are understanding their feelings for you and that's what's shocking to them it's like shocking that they love you but it's because they were unawakened before so of course it's a shock so we do have Muse and Forgiveness, so there may have been some sort of off situations for the two of you. I did feel that way, that, you know, things may not have been going the greatest way, but Muse is showing how inspired you are to each other. You inspire them, they inspire you, you really feel that energy and magnified pull towards them, and we also have Forgiveness, so... For some of you, there may be apologies from this person saying, you know, I'm sorry I didn't express the way I felt for you a lot sooner, but this is the way I feel and I hope that you can forgive me for not being awakened to this connection. So let's get your signs from Spirit Love Oracle for my beautiful Aries and see what spirit messages they have for you from the universe. Spirit for my beautiful, wonderful Aries, I need three cards. For Aries. Alright, Aries. Here we go. We have 555 Wisdom Wake Up Call. Time to move in a new direction, which is what you are doing because this person is going through this transformation of now awakening to this connection. Wisdom Wake Up Call. Definitely 555. Shop them here. So we also have a hummingbird sweetness. Yes, right on forgiveness and muse. A lot more sweetness and a lot more caring and a lot more love. They are sorry for not showing you this before. And we have reconciliation bridge. So the fact that this has come with crossroads and inner child, I do feel like some of you are very cautious of this thinking that it's not going to be something good thinking that reconciling in a more sweeter wonderful energy is not going to be beneficial for the both of you but it will so very interesting here Aries I'm going to get one more card on that why is reconciliation here with inner child and crossroads because reconciliation doesn't always have to mean that the person was out of your energy forever you know it could just mean that you two are reconciling on a much more positive 
state of being with each other. So let's see. And I feel like your inner child is at a crossroads that maybe this is not too, this is like too good to be true. So you have 999. Profound lessons are at hand. Completion of a cycle is near. Wow. Okay, so you have 555 and 999, which is showing a change in direction. Completion of a cycle of your inner child feeling traumatic and your inner child feeling conflicted in chaos. So if you've been feeling Aries, like, why can't I get out of my head? Why can't I make decisions? Why do I feel so uncertain about things all the time? You are not going to feel this way anymore. You are going through a big shift, a big change, and things are going to be a lot more positive for you, my beautiful Aries. So thank you for being here, Aries. Thank you for watching. You may see a hummingbird. You may cross a bridge soon. Um, you may see 555 and 999. So definitely pay attention. Thank you, my beautiful Aries. See you very soon. If you want to book private with me in the description box below, send me an email and I'll see you all very soon. Bye, Aries.